we prepare to get underway from Lee Whelan standing over the ball it looks like the Lions are, are lining up with Ibel and Nepp and Walters at centre half Mark Lee's right back and Kwame Boateng at left back and then Jake Cass did a lone striker with five in midfield right footed it's floated in it's towards Ibel and Correa clears and it might go out for another corner no it doesn't it's uh, it's out for a Geisley throw uh, Meppen Walters tries to put a cross into the box but it's headed away Lees sends it back forward it's towards Cassidy who's going to get there Cassidy wins the header and back off challenges or shot on the Nejman in midfield looked really good did is it, it was the Belper game wasn't it and obviously even though we came up on the, the wrong side of the result yeah you know he's a uh, I think Lions debut it was, yeah, Nejman was, was brilliant, as was Cachosa to be fair. But here's Chip and Dale, oh, he's run past a couple, taking the ball down the right hand side, looking to get across into the box, he does, and I think it's deflected and out for a corner, and it is on, on right wing. Certainly a, a load I'm sure at the moment, Paul Phillips would, would be looking to bring back for next season, uh, certainly along with Nejman. As Nejman, oh, I look to have won a tackle on Benz there, but Benz does well. And goes back to Barlow. Here's Bailey Jones. Back to Barlow. Correa does well to win a header. Here's Benz. Shapes a shoot on his right foot. Puts a cross into the box at the back post. And it's met in the air. And Staley Bridge open the scoring. It's a, it's a back post header to make it 1 0 to the visitors. And on 15 minutes, it's Geisler 0. Staley Bridge Celtic 1. Well, it's a bit of a harsh reflection of play that, but uh, now let's now let's see what we've got. Um, I think Nejman was on the far post. I'm not sure if he was aware there was only behind him actually, because I thought he was favourite to get it. Here's Mac and Walters. Goes long, Cassidy doesn't win the flick on but the ball drops kindly. That's a great save from Joel Shocknessy. It was Scott Backall with the effort. From 25 or 30 yards, it had a shot and see scrambling back on his line and ultimately did did brilliantly to, to fingertip it over the crossbar. Well, he actually tipped it onto the bar. And the ball certainly spent a lot of time in the air today and Chippendale wins it in midfield and here's Bacar on the right hand side. Oh, it does brilliantly to, to get the beating of Burns. Now, gets across into the box. It was towards Cassidy, but ultimately just sails past everybody and out for a throw-in, which is a shame, really, because that was really tidy from Scott Bacar on the far side, wasn't it? Cassidy's got Cachosa with him. And the ball does find Cachosa on the left-hand side. Looks to get across into the box, does. It's high in the air, and it's gathered by O'Shock, that's it. Under under no pressure whatsoever, really. It wasn't wasn't the greatest delivery from from Cachosa after doing well to, to find himself in a good area, really. Coming forward, wasn't there? Yeah, it was a poor pass by Mark Lees, and it really put us on the back foot there. Oh, the cross came in. It was towards Correa. Him and Bailey Jones both challenged for the uh, the same ball, and ultimately goes out for for a guysly throw. I think. Overall thoughts on the opening 45? Um, well, I'm not going to be too critical. It's, it's been an, it's an organised, balanced, competitive performance, but not enough good work on the ball. I, th I think I've said this before, that we need somebody in the middle midfield with a bit of authority on the ball, but we don't have that. Comments in the mix of our chat room are showing up, but I can see we've, um, see we've got a few in the chat room, so I'll read them out as we go. It's Callum Murphy straight into the action as the ball goes out for a throw for the Lions. I hadn't had much of a kick after the first 20, but because the ball was going over the midfield head, so it makes sense. Ball comes in from Chippendale and it's into the gloves of O'Shocknessy, and Eibel knocks it out of his hands and he's about to square up with O'Shocknessy and he's being dragged away by the Steely Bridge defenders. Oh, I've got no idea what, what, what Eibel could possibly have to say there. It was comfortably gathered by O'Shocknessy. Yeah. For, for all involved, really. Not that that's a knock on Nejman. Nejman had played brilliantly, but here's Chip and Dale, who was brought down uh, 25 or so yards from goal. It was a poor challenge from the Staley Bridge defender after Jake Cassidy had done so well to, to win the ball in the first instance. Looks like it's going to be Chippendale to take it right-footed. It is Chippendale. 
It's over the wall and it's into the bottom corner. Past Joel Shocknessy. And Callum Chippendale levels the scores for the Lions. And on 51 minutes, it's Geisley 1, Steely Bridge Celtic 1. That was a wonderful free kick because he hit it with real whip. So it went over the wall, but it actually went in almost on the, on the ground, didn't it? Here's Bacall chasing after. He's got Barlow for company, but Bacall does well to hold the ball up. And plays down the line. Whelan, bit of time and space. Flag stays down. Whelan comes in field. It's towards Cassidy. Ball drops at the feet of Lees. Who doesn't hit it? Wins the flick on. It's still in there. And that's a pretty aimless clearance from Zach Noonan. And it'll go out of play for a throw in. Murphy hooks it forward. Cassidy's chasing. And gets there. All it needs to do is finish, and it looks like he's done it. And it just goes narrowly over the crossbar. It was an empty net. It was, uh, oh, was it back or Cassidy? Cassidy. Cassidy. I mean, he, he, won the, he won the ball against the goalkeeper brilliantly, and when it dropped, he went for the half volley. Uh, he, he went for a sort of a, a measured chip, but he, he probably should have scored there, I think. Yeah, it was Bailey Jones chips it. It's knocked down by Rouse. It's Benz. But Bowler Bo Tengdus brilliantly. And here's Bacor, he's battling with Zach Nune. And Zach Nune is a judge to a foul. Bacor. And the free kick's taken quickly. And Bacor's in behind and he's got Chippendale for support. The ball's got to go in from Bacor, it does. His Chippendale makes his way into the area. Heavy touches from Chippendale, goes out wide. Bacor looks to get across back into the box and does. And at the second attempt, all shock as he gathers. Neither team's really got a, got a foothold in the game. Cross goes in from Meppen Walters. It's dropped at the feet of Murphy, who turns, looks to hit it right footed. It's still with Murphy. It's Cassidy, hits it right footed. It's blocked by Zach Nune. And Lees is fouled by Zach Nune, who looks to have carried him too quickly. It back off. Looked to have been pushed to ground by Correa. But play continues and Cachosa wins the ball on the slide tackle. Here's Chippendale. Yes, Chippendale comes inside, looks to get across into the box, and it's too close to a shot to sit. And the goalkeeper gathers and quickly rolls the ball out, and play can start again. Here's Zach Nooney. But Lee Whelan comes across and gets a block in, and the ball goes out for a Staley Bridge throw. As he made in roads into the area, the ball comes in from Zach Nooney. Pedro's header goes over the bar and out for a Geisley goal kick. Certainly in the second half, but Morrison must put a ball in. It's a good ball, I know it was up towards Burns, and it goes out of play for a goal kick. Chips it into the area. It's up towards. Oh, it was up towards Burns who won his header, and his header goes wide of the post and out for a goal kick. And with that, David Jones blows for full time, and it's finished here at Nevermore Park. Geisley won. Staley Bridge Celtic won. Paul, were you pleased with the second half response to being a goal down there? No. Yeah. I'd have to respond in the second half when we've gone and had a rollicking. Yeah. I said to you the other week, you're lucky we had an hard session Thursday because I'm sick of making the same excuses about the same players. Um, I thought it was a better team by far. I thought they've had probably one shot like Ashton had two last week. Mm -hmm. um, their, their first effort, I think it was the last effort on target really. Um, but we're just not good enough. Listen, we're not good enough. I've said, just said to the lads in there, we've not changed the goalpost after 20 games. We've had to, we have to change quite a few personnel. Um, thought Cassidy bullied their centre halves. Callum's come on, won, won the first balls. And, and we're just a yard short of getting off the second. Now, we've not changed anything, but I can't keep making the same excuses for the same people. I've just said in there, turn the tape recorder on. <laughs> Turn the tape recorder on. People will say, people will say the same things. I look round for people coming on the pitch. When they brought the subs on, they, their, their subs made a bit far bigger an impression than ours. And 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 that can't happen. I, I, I look at us. We're a team that we, we, we're dynamic. We've got to be strong. We do the right things in the right areas. We win the first ball. Callan Cassidy. And, and after. 50, 60 minutes I see people waiting and that, can, that can't be the case Listen, that can't be the case we, we put set pieces in we've, I think we've put six set pieces today to a keeper that's eight, eight foot two into his hands and 
and I just said that comes from ill-educated players not doing the right things when they need to be and people say I'm throwing under the bus I'm not throwing under the bus Listen, they give it the club the best they can but 50-60% of them in there is not going to get us where we want to go and like I say we've, had, we've been unfortunate with injuries we've been unfortunate with suspensions we've been unfortunate with different other things but as I said last week, it's, you can't keep making the same excuses for him because we've not changed the goalposts, they keep changing them. But it was actually a moment of real quality from uh, Chippy to get us back in the game, wasn't it? Yeah, but again, I, I seen the, the free kick, I didn't think it was greatly struck. Mm. And then we get in areas to pull the trigger again, I thought the keeper struggled to get down all day. Mm. And then you look at that and <laughs> how many times we've got the ball in areas where we can put balls low and hard and we put into his hands. So that comes back down to ill education. Mm. Comes that down to not knowing your football, in know how, 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 how to win games. Um, and we often puff second half, but it's not, it's not good enough. Listen, we've, we've lost a belt, but we've come here, we've come here today. Drew was still at Bridge, they were happy with a point. It's not what we are. Listen, everyone, everyone started getting carried away first 10, 12 games, and I said there's a lot of work to be done. We've lost Lewis, obviously, we've lost Benji because of a ridiculous decision last week. Um, individuals that have carried us. Um, and, and for me, obviously, it's hard to replace them. But I've asked all the people to step up, and they're not good enough to do so. So, as a club, we need to address that. As a manager, I need to address that. I heard comments at half time not good enough. To do. We know that. Listen, we know that. But as I said when I came in, if I if I finish with what we've got in there, if I finish seven for eight for this team, that'd be my biggest achievement in management at the moment in time because I've got I've got in playoffs. I've, I've done other things, but. We're just, we're just nowhere near intense, we're nowhere near fit enough, we're nowhere near clever enough to get out of this league with what personnel we've got in there. I mean, um, talking as a the squad for next season, you, obviously you've um, signed Jamil on a, on a new contract uh, this week. Um, do you anticipate, without giving too much away, do you, do you anticipate Bill, Bill to sign? Uh, um, any work players in well, the next few got, weeks or are you waiting for the end no, of the season listen we're working on things now Russia's been out I've been out mm. like I said we're not, we're not sitting on our laurels and we, we, obviously I think touch wood hopefully Courtney might be might be one that we, we get over the line obviously we've got Cam Mason who's missing at the moment who's mm. been a massive miss obviously got Scott, Scott Bacour mm. we're speaking to all the lads yeah. but we, we, uh, for me for me that's a good start you've got to get your spine right Everyone's trying to. Everyone keeps telling me we need a goal score, but probably 92 other clubs need the same thing. So that that always costs. But we've got to try and get someone. We, we know what, when the ball goes in that box, we've got lads who will hold the ball. We've got no lads who who will beat the centre half up. But we need someone who you pay the money for to put the ball in the net. Um, obviously, Lewis wants a, a massive, massive blow to us. A massive blow to him. Um, so listen, I think I think for me, we've got we've got to get people right down the spine. We've got to have a base. And we will have. Listen, we will have. Um, and and we'll, we'll, we'll be back in the summer. And we think we've got three games left. One last game at home is a local derby. We lost away to him. Um, so we need to finish on a high. I think. So I'm not, I'm not knocking lads' appetite. My worry is that they're just not willing enough or do enough to to get us where we need to go. And <coughs> Ross Ely, I believe, was injured today. Is he going to be back uh, Monday? No. 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 Yeah. No, he wasn't injured. Oh, right, sorry. He wasn't injured. Yeah. He was away with some kind of family, I don't know, but he won't be back in the squad, will he? Right. Um, so, it's, um, obviously, we've got to say, it's Atherton away on, on Monday. Funny enough, we, we seem to have a, a bunch of games against teams who do have something to play for, don't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing that's keeping interest at the moment, because... Yeah. Probably I've been like I said to you last couple of weeks. I've been a bit deflated. I've not gone in with saying bigger or saying because I, I, myself, Kay, the other people were always used to going to the end of the season and I'm playing for something. But Atherton, obviously today these these are down the bottom. We don't know how results have gone, and we could be in that position. Listen, we was in that position when we took over. So these positive to take, but um, the negative is that we're not still playing for stuff that we should do as a as a club at this stature. But Atherton will be a tough game up and down that hill. Brad's got a good team. Um, the, the last questions we've got one or two walking wounded so we'll have to assess that your cast is injured isn't it? Yeah. cast is injured court is, court is a little bit tight so he was before the game as you can see he was lobbling at the end but that, listen that's been the story hasn't it but for me 
we have to pick ourselves up. We have to, we have to, everyone have been to say, I think it's, again, I think it sort of sums this league up that you've got an opportunity to play Friday and Monday and you, you choose not to, so you play two games in 48 hours. I'm sure if you ask Man United, Man City or Liverpool to do that, you have something to say about it. Mm-hmm. Conference North played yesterday, why can't this league play the day before, which is, again, sort of sums it up, doesn't it?